Previously, Reptile King Wing starts regenerating, so his focus completely on this process, he is required to maintain his contact with these soil for regenerating. So Ape Girl once more grasp his head and starts raising his entire body, because she has no intention to make him regenerate. And surprisingly, she picked this heavy reptile king by grabbing his head. It's too shocking for me. This poor reptile king is completely overpowered by Ape Girl physical strength, so by using his tail, he put his sword in the soil as anchor. Do anyone remember the exact weight of Reptile King? If you do, then comment below. As Ape Girl is facing difficulties in breaking his contact with the soil now, here comes our Godzilla. By using his sonic spin attack, he directly cut the tail neck. Hmm. By the way, do you know how many brain this Reptile King possibly can have? In continue, Ape Girl picked the entire Reptile King in the midair. Godzilla advised her to use the trick that he thought her previously. By using her full force, she goes for her hammer throwing skill. Okay, I know this name is lame, so you can give it any. By the way, she starts spinning him in the air, while our Godzilla decides to use his newly learned skill that you have seen in episode 22. He gone into his rampage mode that convert his complete look. The chubby one Godzilla turn into a muscular Godzilla that used to go gym daily and starts preparing his one-hit skill. After spinning for a while, she throw the Reptile King, and at the same time, Godzilla shoot his overpowered attack. These attacks shattered the hundreds of meter Reptile King in no time. The giant Reptile King shatter and starts falling in multiple pieces. As this skill is for one-time attack, he lost his all energy. He assumed that this is the ending. It's a memorable moment for all the monsters, this will be considered as their Independence Day. Ape Girl starts crying out of happiness. She finally avenged her parents, then by Z shout to look at that. The body of Reptile King again starts regenerating, so she order everyone to pick up the pieces of dead Reptile King and keep them from touching the ashes. But what the hell is going on? The barren land of Reptile Territory starts converting into green land. Plants and weeds starts growing rapidly. They all get confused. This green art spread on the entire cave in no time, Godzilla thought, even without the influence of Reptile King. This underground cave shouldn't be green. I mean, there is no fertility. Inside the cave, then how this thing is happening? Then Godzilla starts searching for the reason. Then he noticed the man-eating tree behind the monsters. But how he came here, shouldn't it be rooted from the ground? The man-eating tree is using his power. As because of the ability of the soil, the plant starts growing effortlessly here, thus it's not providing any life essence to the Reptile King, instead giving them to this plants, thus resulted in the death of Reptile King at last. But Man-Eating Tree also played major role in these battle. He'd decorate these entire cave. Godzilla appreciate his help. Maybe. Reptile King regenerated again, if he didn't showed in time. As he is also part of this island, how can he doesn't contribute in its protection? Godzilla can die out of hunger. He goes to devour the Reptile King. There is higher chance of gaining overpowered skills and lot of evolution points. However, his face is enough to make him sick. He didn't want to eat this thing, even after having a lot of experience in eating disgusting things. Baize ask him why he is not devouring it. Because he is ugly? Or because he is having human face? Baize appreciate on his ethics and morals. Then she starts removing the life essence of Reptile King. This life essence is much bigger compared to all previous one, as it was him, who saved this island if he didn't take initiative, then none of them dare to provoke reptiles. So as a reward, she give him these life source of Reptile King that has not completely dissipated. This is not the complete life source of Reptile King, as it gets lost after one's death. But this is still great for Godzilla. As soon as the life source enters into his body, he receives 100 million evolution points. Godzilla's jaw drop out of excitement. He used the entire evolution points in one go. This time, he used his entire points on evolution. Rather than just increasing his height, he decides to increase his all stats. By putting the entire points, he get evolution and transform into a complete different look. Some addition armor gets added on his body part. He became a Godzilla knight. He is quite happy about this new look. Then he inquire Kun, if he get any new skill other than evolution points, he has high expectations for the skill of Reptile King. After checking, Kun reveals, he get an S-level skill, 
named Nine Sons. From its look, I think it's a cloning-type skill, which can be used once a day. Kun congratulate him for becoming a father. Like always, Godzilla is dissatisfied with this new skill. He doesn't get its usage. How can he vomit his soul into nine part? And why he became father so suddenly? Kun says, it's equivalent to nine clones, but also with many features like infrared scanning, smart locking, heat tracking, and many other functions. Forget about it, he knows. This system likes to create funny skills. Then Godzilla noticed some hyenas. They are thinking about eating Reptile King. So Godzilla quickly stopped them. Stop, guys. What are you doing? Did you didn't saw the toxicity of Reptile King? They will die if they consume a single bite. By the way, Reptile King is dispelled, but many deed crawlers gets away from here. There are still so many left to avoid any future faculties. They should carry out a search for them and eliminate all of the reptiles. Yes, he is right. Bay Z also agree with him, so they decides to undertake a search mission. These reptiles are parasites for these island. They should eliminate them from their root and grass. Strangely, they didn't see any dead crawlers along the way, but find this viscous liquid where they all disappeared. After verifying this liquid, Bai Z confirmed that this is the blood of reptile king and dead body of dead crawlers. She understand the reason behind the infinite population of dead crawlers. They all created by the reptile king, and as now he is dead, all of them also dead naturally. This is good news for them. They doesn't have to make any effort to find them now. Then Little Orange call for them. They found the remnants of Samurai Wolf Master. After a little while, they reach at the reptile's locker room. The entire space is filled with golds and weapons. This is the collection room of reptiles. Godzilla is astonished and asked, From where did he get this many treasures? In addition, there is a crown. Did he killed any king? So Bai Z says about the past events, more than 2,000 years ago, many supernatural beings used to often come in this island for monster hunting. These are those belongings, those humans, almost killed all the monsters, 